I'm Ruth to Victoria, reporting to you from the field. I'm here with Justina Ray, Senior Scientist of the Wildlife Conservation Society Canada, and we're going to be chatting about the woodland caribou. What can you tell me about the caribou? Very cool animal. It lives very far north from here, um, and it's confined to boreal forests and arctic environments. And as such, they really have very cool adaptations that allow them to live in these northern environments full of snow. For example, they've got very broad hooves, which allow them to walk across deep snow pretty efficiently. And their hooves are also quite sharp, and that allows them to dig in the snow to get at the food that's underneath the snow. And they're very furry coats and even furry faces and noses that allow them to live in the very cold. How is the caribou related to the reindeer? Well, they're really pretty much the same thing. There's only one species of caribou around the world. Some places they're called reindeer, some places they're called caribou. But they're all one species. Why does the woodland caribou need our help? The woodland caribou are the particular caribou that live in boreal forests. And they need our help because they used to live much further south than where they did today and because they're very sensitive to development and human disturbance. Forest cutting and roads and human settlement, those kinds of things they don't live very well with. So they now they're only in the northern areas, but we are very interested in developing those areas for natural resources as well, like mining and forestry and hydro development and all those things. And so now the same thing could possibly happen to them as has happened in the south, and we have to be careful of that. For a limited time this holiday season, Earth Rangers will be giving children all across Canada the chance to help protect the woodland caribou in northern Ontario. The money raised will go to you and your team to help with further research on how to better protect this animal. What are some things you and your team will be doing? Yes, it's actually very exciting. I mean, the thing is, is that in order to protect animals well, you need information. You need information on what they need and what their requirements are. And so we're going to be doing just that in one particular area of, far, of northern Ontario in the boreal forests. We're actually going to be using planes that fly low and slowly to be able to find caribou. And they're going to be doing two things. One is we're going to be locating uh, female caribou um, who are radio colored so we can find their location and we can look over them to see whether they have calves or not. And calves, which is very important because it's in a measure of whether they're reproducing. And that's a very important indication with how well the population is doing. And the second thing we're doing is we're going to an area in northern Ontario um, where there's a lot of interest in developing mines, a great deal of interest. But we don't know very much about what caribou need, where they are, and we need that kind of information in this area so that the development can proceed in a way that's not going to harm them too much. What is some advice you can give to kids who are interested in pursuing a career such as yours? What are some classes you took in school? So I knew I wanted to be a wildlife biologist since I was six, and uh, but I lived in a big city, so I didn't see very many animals. But I still I read a lot, and I knew I knew a lot from books, and I would visit zoos whenever I could. So that by the time I got ready to actually be with animals for real, I actually knew quite a bit. But um, of course, you need biology, but there's all sorts of other things you need, like you need to be able to write well. You need to be able to um, understand how things work in the environment and the connections between people and the environment. So there's lots of different courses you can take to prepare yourself for this kind of career. What's your favorite animal and why? Well, these days, um, because I spend so much time with them, I'm mostly interested in caribou and also wolverine, and they're both northern species. And they both live in very harsh environments, very challenging environments, so I'm full of admiration for how they're able to make a living in these kind of areas where I wouldn't last very long. If you were to have one super animal power, what would it be? I would love to fly and it would be really great for this kind of work because I wouldn't have to use airplanes, I wouldn't have to use a lot of gas, I wouldn't have to make any noise when I was hovering over the animals. That would be the best for, uh, for being able to really understand uh, the, other, the animals that I study and to be able to do things a little bit more efficiently than, than right now. Thank you Justina for your time. Stay tuned for more Wildwire news.